Hi guys, it's uh, in Amga 4 again. Um, I've got the Samsung Galaxy S2 here, uh, and I'm going to quickly show you how to pre cache maps on Google Maps. So, basically, what that is is you're keeping a small copy of a section of the Google Map on your phone so that if you don't have a, a Wi Fi connection or a wireless connection, you can still use the map. Um, so, you won't be able to use it in um, functions like satellite view but as a map itself you'll be able to use it so what we'll do just quickly if I go into my maps so turn that on okay and it's just saying that Wi-Fi is off uh, and do you want to turn on GPS settings we'll just skip those for the time being okay just zoom out where it is okay so there we go when in the UK Brilliant. So first things first, um, you can see it's got the GPS locator there in Birmingham. But what I want to do is, I'm based near Birmingham, so what I'm going to do is show you how to cache an area within the London area. Okay. So what we'll do first of all, from the map screen, hit menu, go to settings. From settings, you you'll see a raft of options. We'll go into the labs section. From labs, just first of all, make sure you've got the pre cache map area as ticked if that's not ticked you won't be able to cache anything or keep a copy of the map locally so make sure that's green and enabled as it says pre cache map area enabled there from there go back to your map and first of all what I'll do is I'll just switch on Wi-Fi so it knows where I am okay and once that connects I'll just there you go. That's connected. So again, what we'll do is from we'll zoom in, and I want to pre-cache the London area. So what I'm going to do there you go, London. Hold down the area I want to pre-cache. So London. It says a loading address. I'm just going to hit that there. And what it'll do, it'll cache from the point I press my finger down, from that point, a 10 mile radius from that point, it'll cache on the phone. And then you can see there it says pre map cache, or should I should say pre cache map area. Tap that. And you can see there it says pre caching map area around this location. From the point where I hit my finger on the map, it's going to map 10 miles around that area. And save it and then you can see around that rectangle it says the outlined area of the map has been processed I think that said or pre-cached now you can see from where I put my finger it's mapped out 10 miles in every direction so hence the radius okay and then cache that to my phone now just to show you it's gonna let me go all the way down to map level you can see buildings and whatnot there Okay, and if I zoom out, you can tell it just says that's pre cached. Now, what I'm going to do is just switch off my Wi Fi just to show you what it does. And we'll leave my data is already off, so it's not going to use data. I want to show you what it does if you have no data or Wi Fi and you've only got that sync. So, I'm just going to come out of it completely. Clear everything out there. Brilliant. Now we'll go back into the maps. So Google Maps. Just load that back up. Right. Again, no Wi-Fi, nothing at all. I'll just show you again. If I go to uh but I don't exist. It comes with no network, it won't let me even browse to the net. Okay. So just go back into the maps. Make sure that goes away. Okay. So here we go. And if I zoom in, it should have let me go right the way down so I can street, see the street names in London because that's the cached area that's saved on the phone. So it doesn't matter if I've got an internet connection or not. It still keeps it on the phone. And go back out again. There we go. So it gives you the road names, the street names, 
road numbers, why not? Okay, so that's what precached is. What I'm going to do is just show you what it does outside of a precached area. So I showed you in London. Now what I'm going to do is go to the top of the country to uh, something that we didn't cache. So where's Glasgow? There we go. Okay. Now I've got no data connection, so no no connectivity there. So this is what it does if you have nothing. See, it's not bringing up any of the road names. It brings up the rough areas like East Kilbride, it's got there. But you zoom all the way in, it does nothing. Because it's not pre-cached and I've got no internet to take me down to where, where it is. Another area that we didn't do, Manchester. So it gives you the rough areas, but when you need the internet to go all the way down, it, it just blurs out the screen like it does there. Because there's there's no road names or whatnot. So what's the point? See, that's what the pre-cached area does. It caches everything on the phone within that 10 mile radius of whatever you tapped. And it keeps it on the phone. And if you want, you can save more than one pre-cached area as long as you've got enough memory on the phone. I think it's 16 gig per area. Not 16 gig, 16 meg an area. If you want to see what you have, just hit menu settings cache and then it says one you can see that it says one pre-cached map area and you can obviously clear the cache from there if you don't want it if you click in it there what you can do is either get rid of it by pressing X or press a triangle I'll say triangle the pencil to just give it a new name we'll just cancel that That's how you pre-cache a map on your phone, so that if you know you're going away within the area, the reason why I chose London there because it's a built-up area, and uh, there's a lot of information. And then you saw how quickly it cached it. So if you know you're going away and you might not have internet coverage or 3G, or, you know, roaming coverage, data coverage, just pre-cache the map on your phone, and you can always see where you are, and you can see even from a distance away pre caches where you are but as I say this is just as a map only it doesn't do things like satellite views or anything like that because that's not supported in a pre cache mode and that's why you get the checkered symbol in between but if you remove that it takes it back to normal map view and that's how you pre cache a map or download an area you could call it within Google Maps on your Android phone and obviously Google Maps is free every Android device should have it any questions or comments please put those below hit subscribe from the button up top there it's free it doesn't cost you anything you can just check out what I'm doing thanks for watching have a good evening and goodbye